Republicans, including former President Donald Trump, are accusing the Biden administration of having weak border security. And now Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is pushing back, saying removal efforts are at a nine-year high. Paul Spey checks that claim for PolitiFact. Republicans are accusing the Biden administration of purposefully allowing immigrants to cross the southern border. So when Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas sat down for an interview with CNN, the network asked him about that accusation, and he said this. Of course not. And the facts uh, indicate that that is absolutely false. Since May of this year, of, of last year, we have removed or returned more individuals than in any year since 2015. Now, Mayorkas' claim is supported by federal data that was released earlier this year, but his claim might have still been misleading to some viewers who aren't familiar with government terminology. Here's what I mean. Mayorkas said returns and removals hit a nine-year high. Those are specific government terms. People who are removed are deported with legal penalties, and people who are returned to their home country, they don't always face legal trouble. Those categories are combined in this chart here in blue, and they do not include people turned away during the pandemic when the government used a specific law known as Title 42. Those numbers are there in red. Now, why does this matter? Because someone who watched that interview might have gotten the impression that the U.S. sent away more people in 2023 than it did even during the pandemic. And that's not the case. Mallorca sort of talked around these other pandemic numbers. He also left out the fact that deportations are up because simply more people are at the border. But technically speaking, his numbers are still accurate, and that's why the truth meter rates his claim mostly true. Read the full fact check at WRL.com.